All right, here's example four with integration by substitution. So um, with trig integrals like this, you know, usually there might be uh, a few different ways to approach it, but we'll just keep it simple and stick with substitution. So uh, integral from zero to pi over six of sine of theta divided by cosine cubed of theta d theta. Okay. So um, what do we want to let u be? So remember, uh, remember what the rules are. In general, we're looking for a function and a constant multiple of its derivative, okay, or maybe just a function as derivative. Um, but more generally, a function and a constant multiple of its derivative. Well, do we see that? Well, uh, if we let u be sine of theta, okay, that's not right, but I want to show you why, um, then du is going to be cosine of theta, d theta. Okay? So if we, let d, uh, if we let u be sine of theta, then du is cosine of theta, d theta. So that takes care of the sine of theta on top, and we can handle the limits pretty easily. Um, but, you know, we still have this d theta. There's no cosine attached to it the way we want. We have cosines on the bottom, and if we let u be sine of theta, then handling these on the bottom is really not going to work out. So you could try it this way. You could, um, you know, approach it a couple different ways, and you'll see it's not really going to work out. So in that case, um, we'll try the other thing. So u equals cosine of theta is what's really going to work here. Um, so remember, looking for a function as derivative or a constant multiple of its derivative. Um, and if that doesn't work, you know, look for the inside guy. So what do you mean by inside guy? Like in the last few videos, uh, we talked about that. So cosine cubed of theta equals cosine of theta, really the whole thing cubed, right? So cosine of theta is sitting inside of this cube function here. So cosine of theta is being cubed. So the inside guy is cosine of theta. So let's try and let u be the inside guy and see if that works. So then du is negative sine of theta d theta. Okay, always got to have that d theta there. Okay. Um, now, uh, so this is a constant multiple of the derivative, right? Sine of theta. Um, so the derivative is negative sine of theta. The differential is negative sine of theta d theta. Okay, so remember there's a really subtle difference there between derivative and differential. Uh, we don't want to worry too much about that right here. But anyway, um, we don't have negative sine theta, right? We have a constant multiple of that, which is just sine of theta. So first, um, let's rewrite this integral just so that it's uh, all a little more clear and straightforward. So integral from zero to pi over six of uh, sine of theta, I'm gonna bring the d theta up here, or cosine cubed uh, of theta. Okay, so it's totally fine to do that. D, uh, d theta doesn't really have to be off to the side anywhere. Uh, it's okay to do that. So um, sine of theta, d theta, I don't, you know, um, I don't have a negative sine of theta, d theta, I just have that. So let me stick a minus sign in there, okay? So what did I just do? I just multiplied everything by negative one. Now if I wanna make that okay, I have to do the same thing again. Okay. Or, you know, I could divide by negative one, but dividing by negative one and multiplying by negative one is the same thing. So uh, either way is fine. So anyway, um, how does this help us? Well, now this, negative sine theta d theta, that is exactly du. That's great. And then here, cosine cubed of theta, that is u cubed. Okay, because u is cosine of theta, so if I cube that, I just get u cubed. And then I saw this negative one here. Now we have to change the limits. So um, we're going to make that little chart. So uh, it's going to be theta and u. Okay, so theta goes from 0 to uh, pi over 6. Okay, theta goes from 0 to pi over 6. Um, now, u is cosine of theta. So when theta is 0, u is cosine of 0. And cosine of 0 is 1. Okay. Um, when theta is pi over 6, u is cosine of pi over 6, which is uh, root 3 over 2. Okay, so just a unit circle thing there. So uh, when we change, so let's write our new integral now. And when we change those limits, we have to, or when we change the variable, we have to change the limits of integration. So this becomes the integral from one to root three over two. Okay. Of, uh, so we still have this negative one here, right? So we still have negative one and then uh, du on top. And then on the bottom, we just have that u cubed. So kind of goofy looking like that, so we can rewrite it uh, in a, you know, a little more simple. So first, let's pull out that negative 1. So this is a negative integral from 1 to root 3 over 2. Um, and then let's rewrite this as 1 over u cubed du. Okay. So um, 1 over u cubed. So now let's zoom in on all this here. Or let's, before we zoom in, though, let's look. So what did we just do? We just took this integral here, which is kind of, you know, kind of complicated looking. We're not really sure exactly how to work with that. And we uh, did a substitution, we transformed it into this integral over here, which is, you know, 
um, not terribly simple. I mean, this isn't bad. It's it's a lot better than this, um, and you know, integrals could be a lot worse than this for sure. Um, but you know, this this is much easier for us to work with. This is going to be straight up power rule. So let's zoom in on that. So this is going to be integral, uh, or sorry, negative integral from one to root three over two. Uh, let's write this like this: u to the negative three. So then it's uh, let's zoom out also. So now it's more clear that we're just going to do power rule. Okay, so um, this equals. So we still have a negative. So this is like a negative one, negative one, um, and so on. But we can just say negative. So negative one times. Now for power rule, add one to the exponent and then divide by that. So if we add one to negative three, we get negative two. So we divide by that, and then we say u to the negative two, evaluated from one to root three over two. Okay. So, um, and again, you know, since it's a definite integral, we don't have to go back to theta. We can just completely forget about theta because we change our limits of integration here, okay? Because we use this chart to change those limits of integration, um, which is really the ideal way, I think, to do it. Um, so the algebra here is going to be a little messy, um, but it's, you know, it won't be too bad. So let's zoom out a bit so we have more room. So uh, I'm going to come back up here. So uh, negative 1 times 1 over negative 2, so the negatives cancel, and that just becomes a 1 half. So what we have is a 1 half times 1 over u squared, evaluated from 1 to root 3 over 2. Okay, so that's what we have there. So uh, this is uh, 1 half times, so evaluate at the top, so this is a 1 over root 3 over 2 squared minus 1 over 1 squared. Okay, so evaluate at the top minus evaluate at the bottom. Okay, so the top root 3 over 2, so evaluate there, and then minus evaluating at the bottom. Um, okay, so we still have the 1 half out there. And then this is, uh, so if we square that, so root 3 over 2 squared, so root 3 over 2, if we want to square it, uh, that's going to be 3 over 4, right? So root 3 squared is 3, 2 squared is 4, so we just have 3 over 4. So this is a 1 over 3 fourths minus a 1, minus just 1. So 1 squared is 1, 1 divided by 1 is 1, so we just have that. So we've got to be careful here now. This is a 1 half times a 1 divided by 3 fourths is 4 thirds minus a 1. So if we get a common denominator, that's 3 thirds. Okay. So this is a 1 half times 4, four thirds minus 3 thirds is 1 third which is one, uh, one half times one third is one sixth. Okay. So um, that's example four, and that's kind of crazy, right? So this uh, integral from zero to pi over six of this uh, crazy function here, sine of theta over cosine cubed of theta d theta, um, actually has this really simple answer in one sixth. So, you know, sometimes that'll happen with uh, integration also. You might have something that looks kind of crazy. Um, this isn't really too bad, but you know, it does look fairly complicated. Um, and you might not expect right away that the answer is something so simple. But, you know, that's kind of cool. That could happen sometimes. So anyway, that's example four, integration by a substitution.